Hi there, Nelson Sim Racing here. We're in the Formula V again, Alton Park Island Circuit again, 12 minute race. Lower strength of field this time, there was a lot more entrance. Um, we are at the head of a 1.4K strength of field. We're car number two. We have qualified in second place. Car number one qualified in first place. All is as it should be. Um, we're going to try and avoid the carnage. Safety, safety, safety. We're heading to the grid. Just had several awful races, so I really need something good here. So, I've got to be super passive and can't get myself into any trouble. Just the instrument of my own doom for so much of it. So, yeah. I don't know. We'll see. 12 minutes. The track temp is 109. The air temp is 78 Fahrenheit. Get ready. Time to focus. Green, green, green. All right, good start. Car right. Hold your line. Still there. Hold your line. Clear right. Uh, he was never going to hold that. I don't know why he did that. It was just stupid. Well done, Gareth. Good start. Good start. Bloody spectacular. That was a bit of shit. Too passive. Still, tires are cold. Just be sensible. what there is to say at the moment um, other than you know got to stay concentrated got to hit my apexes like I just didn't I hate that corner so much they're real close together all behind I hope they squabble Good. Can't afford to give up a tenth here or a tenth there. Okay, Gareth. There's a car exit in the pit. Heads up. You've just done a 142.8.
in the name of safety. You won't believe it, but those two statements were part of the same uh, sentence. And that huge gap in between was my brain just going tick, 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 tick. You probably will believe it if you've seen me talk before. Got bigger gaps in the middle of my sentences than Alan Rickman. But we are equally British. Too timid there, Jesus. So Frank, who's right in front of me, was the guy who started in third. So he's had the kind of race that I've just had an afternoon of. So hopefully it turns around for him in a later race when I'm not around. <laughs> Six, not exactly a stellar lap, but uh, whatever. Jesus Christ, Nelson. I think I just need to let off the brake a lot earlier there. You're looking good for fuel. I'm trying to get some practice in and figure it out. Now. Because then it'll be unstoppable. But that's certainly my, I think my biggest problem on this uh, track is that corner. You're in the lead. I can do this one right occasionally. Look at all that. Look at all that green. That's five minutes remaining. P1, come on, bring it home. Two four. Mm. It's all right. Uh oh. Apologies coming out of the third place guy. I'm not really catching Frank Lab in front of me. Again, he was the guy who qualified in third. He was right behind me. So it's pretty interesting because he would have been right up there with those other guys. Um, it's also interesting that he's still keeping his pace. 
all the way back here, which means not driving angry. So fair play. Because I generally just completely go to shit when I go to the back. Oh my god, I tried the GR86 at Okayama. What a nightmare. I got punted on the first lap and just completely went to toilet. Oh my god, it was awful. And I love Okayama. And I hate having bad races there. Shoddy. That's the line. I don't know where you break for it though. I'll lose like four tenths breaking to get to that right line. Ridiculous. Now Jason's uh, got a bit of clear air behind him. He's uh, starting to hunt me down. Two minutes to go for two minutes. We're into our last lap. Come on, Gareth. One more lap. Keep it together. We'll win this. You've got half your fuel left. So there you go. Keep plugging away. Winds will come. Uh oh. Jason spun it. Jason spun it. Oh, he's falling down the order. It's the type of shit I do. Still haven't avoided doing it yet. Had a few corners to get through. But now I've got five seconds. I can almost walk home. But I've still got to. Honestly, it's going to be the slowest lap of every, uh, anyone. <laughs> I don't care. I'm going to win. I'm very excited. Get in there! Zero X and the win. Great job. Well done. Perfect start. Perfect race. Just let everybody else break themselves against the against the wall. Let's have a look at the incidents. Okay, let's get a look at all the action. We had an excellent start there. Oh my god! Poor old number 12. Yeah. Couldn't hold that outside line. There's another guy going off there. Go back, see. Oh! Proper carnage. Let's see if we can see the second one. Look at that, that's fantastic. 
All right, this replay is going to be a little bit chaotic because I'm flicking backwards and forwards like a lunatic. Anyone going to hit him? No. Nope. What? Car number one on a rage. Oh, and he's blinking as well. That was a bit unfair on him. Jeez. Liverpool fan there. Oh. One's having an absolute nightmare. And he's blinking as well. So easy to do that. Oh, that's bad math. Three does not go into one. And that is your lot. Let's have a look at the results. <laughs> okay, here we are with the scores. Gareth Nelson, P1, plus 85 I rating, plus 0.98 safety rating. I'm the big winner. Me. And that was second split. So there you go. Um, average lap time 143, best lap time 142, wasn't even close to what I could do, but I wasn't pushed. <clears throat> so that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. Franck Labby had an absolute mare and he did minus 69. Where did car number one? Robert Charlio. He came in seventh, despite all that ruckus. 16 incidents. Jesus. Minus 2.0 uh, safety rating for him. That's pretty impressive. He managed to come in seventh with 16 incidents. I mean, he got roughed up. So, anyway. There we have it. A victory. I'm very happy. Um, I hope you're happy too. Be happy with me. Um, think about subscribing give me that thumbs up um, and comment please I love to read your comments love to talk to you Terry you're the best always commenting favourite favourite guy um, thanks for watching and I'll see you again